Okay, good. I'm moving really sl slow this morning. You're lucky. <laughs> I don't. You don't have to worry about me uh, uh, be, being uh, being a, a mild pace. I'm putting in. Uh, <clears throat> Not that you care, but putting in, you know, 14, 15 hour days this week. Uh, so anyway, so anyway, let's look at the pipeline. Okay, CH4 is methane, 20 degrees centigrade, uh, flowing at 20 degrees centigrade. Okay, we have your velocity here, 416 meters per second. What's the Mach number and what type of flow is occurring? All right. Again, a local speed of sound, ideal gas. Okay, what you have here. Okay, and this is your, your ratio of specific heats for methane. It's all tabulated in your handbook. All right. Uh, here's your, your your R value here, okay, it is 518 joules per kilogram per degree Kelvin uh, off your table. Again, what we want, this is in degree Kelvin, so we had 273 to 20 degrees, and this is just the conversion factor, newton meters per joule, kilogram me meters per newton uh, per second squared, okay. Um, just to put them in there, okay, because I get a lot of questions on that. What happened to the units? Okay, that's that's implied in there within the equation because you want to get this over to meters per second. Um, so when you do this on the exam, okay, uh, don't worry about putting in all those units, but uh, not a bad idea to make sure you put them in to so make sure they all cancel out. All right? So essentially, down here is you get your Mach number, okay. So what we have here is the velocity. We just calculated the local speed uh, speed of methane is 438, okay. Um, the velocity um, to get the Mach number, okay, so that's the speed of sound, the relationship between the speed in the pipeline is 416 degree, oh, excuse me, 416 meters uh, per second divided through by the local speed of sound, we get 0.95, it's a little bit less than one, so essentially it's, the, it's a subsonic flow. Uh, yeah, there's, there's, yes, correct. Again, you know, you, you get this all the time. You and students do this all the time, and I don't, and I'm not, I'm not trying to lose my patience here a little bit, but, you know, I put them in the problem statement, so I don't want to go back and look at them. Okay. Um, the other thing too is my numbers may be a little bit different because we use different sources for our, for our problems. But on the exam, okay, if it's not given, and they, te they're tending to do that from what we hear, what I hear lately. They're tending to put more of the of the values in in the problem statement, okay? So that, um, you know, what you know, what technical advantage? Or what is it testing you to look up a, t a number in the table? They should just give it to you in there. But again, if you need it, you know, you're going to have a searchable PDF file uh, with the handbook, uh, and you ask for you know uh, ratio of specific heats, and poof, you'll get them, okay?